And we are here to show off a little bit of some therapeutics and share a little bit of some body pain, body stiffness, body aches, a little bit of uh, dark side. A lot of us don't want to talk about. Off the top, you know, getting into a massage is pretty simple. You know, it's hand work. You know, being able to come in and be able to create movements, strokes as as soft as a feather, and to be able to experience these stimulations on the massage chair is quite a treat. My my first experience, so we're gonna show you guys a little bit of continuing massage techniques from Joby Mohan Bay. You know, getting into a massage is pretty simple. You know, it's hand work. You know, being able to come in and be able to create movements, strokes as Signature strategies, strategist, massage therapist, license. Anyways, I'll shut up and just get to work. Effleurage. 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 The techniques you'll be learning are from the Swedish effleurage, effleurage into petrissage, into hand kneading, this is how I learn massage. palm pressing, this is, this is thumb, massage finger kneading, palm pressing and gliding. Just with the effleurage combinations. The key thing to my massage therapy is the warm up sequence. I like to warm up the body with a lot of this Swedish effleurage, making sure that the way it feels, the way the body has to heat up in order for it to take it to the next relaxed level, being able to do combinations of effleurage techniques from a fluid combination makes the biggest difference. So we're showing some, some thumb and palm needs on the left side of the client adjusting the sweat the sweater making sure we take it from the shoulder all the way into the hip and bringing it back into the shoulder and neck region column the neck region column was the most requested so we're going to try to focus in on some direct pressure using the thumbs and fingertips we're focusing on the scalenes the levator scap we're focusing on upper trap and we're focusing on middle trap and lower trap as well. Rhomboids have also need their work. And we're also focused on supraspinatus and infraspinatus. These are some of the muscles to mention. So at this point, I have a combination of pressure down and doing some finger work on the occipitals, the back of his skull and his neck. Making, trying to make sure we get enough pressure in these neck areas and still feel it out at the same time. There's a, a lot of work to be done, I can tell, and 
just making sure we having ample pressure and heat warming them up still so we can get into some heavier more uh, deeper pressures you can say a lot of times you have to be real still and have your clients breathe and notice if they are guarding and tensing through the session and if that's so you want to guide them through respiration you can see here I'm massaging the occipitals elevator scap upper traps doing a lot of stripping finger stripping even doing some friction just working with the, the sweater working over the sweaters it has a benefit in it you know, it also has its uh, issues as well so whatever garment your client is wearing at the time for a chair massage it would be something that you would have to work with around and through and upon doing a lot of direct pressure with the fingers and right here we're switching it with some friction with the uh, knuckles just consistently putting pressure in different techniques into the occipital muscles it's back of the neck there's a lot of build up here for the client and doing my best to apply different types of stimuluses to give him a relaxing relief direct pressure direct pressure palm presses just in the sweater revisualizing my approach being very gentle and sneaking up and smooth and taking the approach where we maintaining his level of relax relaxation without overstimulating or over or aggravating the muscles the muscles have Golgi sensors that are sensing the pressure on it. So having the right pressure on the muscle is what I like to gauge using combination body weight and muscle strength. Right here is a technique where we're leaning back and clasping the back of the occipital pianoing the fingers around the occipitals and getting into the levator scap upper trap working through the sweater working through the sweater feeling our way working through the sweater direct pressure with our thumbs palm pressing upper traps moving down supraspinatus upper traps direct pressure having him readjust his shoulder girdle to get some mobility and some circulation flowing and then readjusting my pressure
dropping the pressure into the sh shoulder blade column, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, we'll be able to feel some of that. Pressure. Notice the stance. Leaning forward, elbows extended. Maintaining pressure. Still finding the right medium within the pressure we're using. Doing some direct pressure shiatsu with the fingers, the digitorums, getting into the supraspinatus, upper traps, levator scap. And starting to touch the middle scalenes and anterior scalenes for the client. There's a whole series of neck muscles that have to be addressed. I'm taking the direct pressure approach since we have only so many options to work with. Since we're not using any massage oil, we have to take a different approach. Direct pressure is the best way to work over the clothes on a chair massage. I'm using a lot of thumb direct pressure with the thumbs and then clasping gripping with the hands. Clasping with the fingertips, the hands on the occipitals, feeling our way around. This was the second angle on the camera shot. Having a different look of the main, the number one complaint for this client. This is where we're focused on, looking to give him pressure and work through all the muscles that are impacting his tension, his pain patterns, and his complaints. Working both sides, left and right, Feeling our way through. Shows you guys a perfect example of how much pressure along with technique that needs to be applied in order for one to fully feel the stimulation and pressure and relief, even the pain patterns for a guy like, like this client here, his body type requires a little bit more, but at the same time, Continue to ask your clients to breathe out and breathe in through the session. Is though highly is very highly recommended in order for you to get more re relaxing, recovering results. Not having your client work against you.
at this point we have addressed some of the neck areas and we are working towards the arms still want to do a full complete chair massage and show you guys how much one can do on a massage chair the more time you can be on a, with the client on the chair the more minutes that you can add up for the rate that you want to charge for your sessions With the arms, your goal is to grab, feel it out, and be able to strip as you are working your way down the arm, triceps, especially into the forearms, into the hands. Your stance, still split, squat, working your way forward, working your way back, anterior deltoid, tricep long head, tricep brachii, gripping, stripping, and adjusting your back. <laughs> Holding on to continue to Hold on to the client, doing some direct pressure right here with the palms, utilizing the massage chairs, armrest, take advantage of it. Try not to use it too heavily, these things do break no matter how heavy duty you may think they are. Showing different zoomed in look, doing some quick hand work for the client. Stripping the fingers, getting the palms and the wrist touched up. For a lot of people, these are the areas of the most trouble concern. And there will be another session where we address strictly the arms and forearms and hands episode. Different look. Opposite side, different camera shot, getting into some of the left arm, left side. Really want to touch up these areas. Finish it with the hands. Here we go, different camera shot. Nice clean look we got here. Again, working on the arms, gripping, stripping, direct pressures, thumb presses, gripping, stripping, fingers, digits, palms. Once you're done with both sides, you want to come around and readjust the client's outfit. In his case, his sweater. Then we're going to get into a little bit more of this effleurage and petrissage and full hand needs. Start kneading the occipital upper trap, shoulder girdle column. So we'll do a combination of some effleurage into some gripping, into some direct pressure.
So let's review one more time. I'm using direct pressure. Thumb, thumb kneading, palm pressures. We're doing a sweep up, down, left to right, side to side, and getting back into the occipitals, up traps, all the neck muscle regions and shoulder blade. That is the, that is my focus for this massage. These are the areas we're gonna be readjusting, retouching up, readjusting, retouching, reconstruction, pretty much. So we're doing a lot of direct pressure with the fingers. Looking to open up occipital muscles. Working with the sweater, making, making the techniques work with the sweater, adjusting the hoodie. With the, with the right application with your technique, you're really looking for these tight muscles and being able to work with them usually is the key. Finding how much pressure the muscle likes it versus how much the individual likes sometimes are two different things and lingering in a muscle too long usually aggravates it so finding the spectrum of pressures and stimuluses for each muscle group and nerve group and fascia and skin group is key in a lot of your techniques You can tell I'm focused in this area, chiseling away. Holding pressure down with the left arm and doing some, probably some direct pressure techniques on the lateral side, on the neck. Moving into the deep tissue, forearm, a little bit of the elbow, the majority of it will be forearm, weaving, moving into tight muscle groups that we've already located with our hands palpating and working through multiple techniques the fascia and the muscular fibers and tissues are ready for some direct pressure, some deep tissue stripping and some trigger point therapy for it to fully release. This is an example of what you would do once you have warmed up the client fully and then a lot of other techniques and you're looking to be able to finish them off with some heavier pressure to give them that full relief. I have found my connection with my application coming in to these areas, being able to feel and 
my way through and have enough body weight and pressure to lean up and through each client. The more top heavy you have, definitely you can be efficient. But the name of the game is to for you to sh yourself to be able to last through a session comfortably and not feel overworked yourself. So this is some focused work, extending and putting direct pressure on the occipital muscles having your massage chair fit comfortably for your client, readjusted properly, being able to apply such extreme pressures as the deep tissue here you're seeing, having a little bit of buffer with the hoodie, allowing the experience probably to be more enjoyable But these were the number one complaints here. This was the issue. This was the number one request. Getting into the occipitals again, as you see, working our way around, working our way through, all around, back of the cranial, looking for tight areas, knots, see if he can flinch, see if he can breathe through working our way through the sweater and making a lot of progress. So in a sense, you want to still identify the bony landmark in the back of the head and we'll still work your way through looking for muscle tension. Usually it's the best way to your, your best approach here we're working it into in and down through back of the neck we have your extensors you have your leather scap your upper trap and thoroughly working our technique up and down and through not really lingering too much on one side, but still giving ample firm pressure and thorough work for each of the areas. This was the best camera angle for this shot, so I kept with it. I kept this side and kind of left the other one out my edit but here is a great great angle for you guys to see how you would apply direct pressure on the occipitals and back the client having different types of neck pain a lot of times people sleep off off their pillow and it makes a big impact some people have a lot of buildup in these areas and have a hard time letting them go.
at this point our client has totally relaxed and allowed us to go heavier and deeper you can even see we even finally got a reaction from him as far as getting into the right areas finding those knots those trigger points working our way through looking to micro stretch and apply direct pressure strip them if possible and working our way through not necessarily hanging on for too long this I want to be thorough and can cover a lot of ground and continue to repeat my cycle and my techniques. This is a lot of hand work, this is a lot of neck work, yet the rewards are extremely beneficial for the client with a therapist in exchange. Taking advantage of your stance and leaning back, you can use some body weight on top of doing some finger piano work, direct pressure, thumb pressure, palm pressures, thumb needs. some direct pressure stripping it down into the su supraspinatus upper trap levator scap with the thumbs getting into shoulder shoulder blade having him really feel it moving around taking advantage of our stance, our position, we begin to have our full hand knee, grabbing some strong grips, doing getting a lot of feedback from the soft tissue, the muscle fibers and the fascia. So I'm continuing to be thorough and we're just working it through over the hoodie as I can. Finishing up this chair massage, I told you I, told you I was going to be using the deep muscle stimulator. It does percussion and concussion therapy. Ideally, when you use this machine, you need to buffer it with some some sort of material, fabric material. In this case, we're using two sweaters along with the arm sleeves for us to buffer the areas that we're going to be working on. If you were to look in the mirror, you can be able to have a different angle along with seeing the camera shot. So just showing some touch-ups with the deep muscle stimulator, percussion concussion therapy. This gun is worth about three thousand dollars brand new. You can find them new or you can find them used for about a thousand fifteen to two two grand and the type of work that this does is amazing a lot of clients they can't get enough of this work yet you don't have to do too much in order for you to have a big impact on them I do this at the very end to give the body just the next breakthrough release especially these areas that are very hard to touch up finish up so I'm just going to finish up, I like finishing up my clients with this type of quality percussion concussion therapy, very similar to Potment, being able to have, have the client enjoy the rest of their evening with such a 
vibration and relaxing feel after combination of all the techniques. So, thank you for joining Aboriginal Holistic Remedies. We'll show you how the client feels right after.
Yeah, that moving awesome. Yeah, I decided to do some mobility at the same time since your your arm was kind of trapped. So I need you to create some mobility to get in that area. Follow up for part two. Well, this is the, you know, the app that people want to know after what it feels like, so you get to see somebody wake up from, wake up from a session and actually come back to reality, come back to going on back there, dude. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me what you do for a living. So it was good. Uh, I probably could have experienced a little more pressure, but I usually don't like that, but because that area was so knotted up, I just wanted to 